Hello everyone. Today we do a little bit math uh, to prove something very important. Now um, you know there is a gravity, then the object can go circle around the gravity, but it can be also elliptical orbit. Uh, that what it means is you have planet here and the satellite here. And the satellite can go along this uh, elliptical orbit. Would it be possible? Because interaction is only gravity here. Right? It, just single gravity force makes this uh, motion elliptical. Would it be possible? Well, that's the first question. And what is the three-body problem? It's related to this. So we explain this a little bit more detail today. Um, first of all, this coordinate, the major uh, ax and, and minor ax A and B, the, this uh, uh, elliptical orbit, the trajectory, trajectory is expressed by this equation. Okay, you learned that in the, in the high school, right? Now, we are going to move to the new X coordinate means X is small x plus C. And what is C? C is a focus point. There are two foci in elliptical motion, elliptical traject trajectory. So the uh, actually it's going to be negative, right? Because any is x y this capital x is going to be less c so x equals capital x plus c so from here this coordinate the trajectory is going to be x plus c square a square plus y square b square equals 1. Is that okay so far? Okay, now um, you put x equals r cos theta y equals, this is chapter x, okay? The r sine theta. So what we do is we do conversion to polar coordinate. So you plug in this one into this and into this and simplify the equation. It takes some time and we don't have a space here and a time. So what we do is just show how the polar co coordinate looks like. R equals a1 minus e square and 1 plus e cos theta. Okay. Now, what is a, what is a e? Uh. This is a complex equation. E is square root of 1 minus b square a square. Okay. We know this uh, foci, the focus point C, relationship with A and B, right? So we plug that in and simplify using this E constant. The polar coordinate will be like this. What does it mean? 
the polar coordinate of trajectory. What is trajectory? Trajectory doesn't have any time uh, component. For example, if you put, uh, you shoot object, it's go like this, right? And this is a quadratic e equation. And this is a trajectory. And trajectory is x, y coordinate relationship. And it doesn't say three seconds later where it is. It doesn't say that. That's going to be the uh, motion equation. And Newton's uh, Newton's law, F equals MA, will give the time, motion's law. A is uh, um, acceleration. So this is going to be X dt. Right? So T comes in and M is constant and F. So what we have to do is to find out what the F is. Okay. So in this motion, um, there is a 2F. One is a gravity. Right? This direction of R, this uh, polar coordinate. So and this is acceleration, that's v square over r. And what is a v? The v is the orthogonal component. V is r angular speed right so this acceleration is going to be a equals r square and gravity pulls this down along this r so it's going to be uh, gravity constant and this planet mass r square okay so this is the acceleration along the r and the another acceleration we have is orthogonal direction okay the this acceleration is going to be r theta derivative means r plus r theta double dot and this should be zero because there's no other force acting on this direction right okay so this is zero and this there are two equation and this is the nonlinear uh, differential simultaneous differential equation and nonlinear equation uh, differential equation usually you cannot solve it most of them you cannot solve it fortunately uh, this case we can solve it well actually we don't solve it instead we use this trajectory to verify this is going to be zero and this is going to be you plug in this into this and lead to this one. It's verified that trajectory, this trajectory satisfy this um, elliptical orbit motion equation. Well, so this is a shortcut to do it, but it's even shortcut that probably you need uh, two, three pages of paper to, do, to go through. Now, what we prove is that the elliptic, el elliptical uh, orbit is one of 
this equation solution. And there may be other solution. And there is. For example, when the orbit comes down to the planet, it's called spiral. And this spiral is not elliptical orbit. It's something else. But this is also dictated by just single force, gravity. Single force of gravity makes this kind of curve, trajectory. So this is one of trajectory, trajectory one. And you have other trajectory based on just single gravity force. Okay, so single gravity force uh, is going to give you elliptical orbit and some spiral and maybe some others you don't know. You make this trajectory equation and plug in. If satisfy this equation, then you verify that. Well, you cannot make it nice way to solve it because the usually you solve this equation and get the trajectory but trajectory is uh, that is very difficult because it's non-linear um, differential equation but y you already know this trajectory is possible and plugging just to verify is okay so we know elliptical orbit can be realized by single gravity force by the planet uh, located at the focus point. Okay, so keep that in mind. And this discovery was made actually way before Newton, the, uh, the Galileo and uh, Copernix, they observed the data of the planet movement and they noticed that actually it's not a circular movement it's the uh, elliptical motion um, with the planet at the focus point so they know that already okay but mathematically proving that the uh, single gravity force will make such a complex motion was not known now the from here we move to the uh, three body problem it's much easier to explain and suppose you have another planet planet one and planet two so the motion of this object depend on two gravity right so this equation become more complicated very complicated and this complicated equation nonlinear differential equation often turn the system into chaos what do you mean by chaos chaos means for example, uh, scientists studied this two gravity inference. The initial condition of satellite means where it was in the beginning makes big difference. Sometimes motion like this, sometimes motion like this, motion like that. So initial condition change totally the entire motion. Okay, so initial condition sensitive, and this is a chaos system characteristic, the first characteristic, and second, it seems to be stable, seem like uh, it's moving along this line just repeating but a minor disturbance uh, 
change entire motion so this is this is the the famous saying that the butterfly flap may cause the uh, typhoon somewhere the tiny butterflies cause a little bit winds and this wind effect is amplified and and somewhere it's become typhoon so tiny effect is going to produce the huge effect that's the second characteristic of chaos system and as i said the nonlinear differential equation complex one often become chaos chaos system so if you have two sun you can look at see anywhere in the space i don't think we we have found any such a uh, uh, solar system with two sun and planet is around the planet movement is very complex okay and also it's not stable sometimes because uh, slight interaction like a uh, second planet come and some interaction here is going to change entire uh, orbit movement and that's the second a uh, minor disturbance changes the entire motion and also initial condition is very important when you solve the uh, differential equation you have to give an initial condition and where the planet start from here or here or here this is going to be totally different motion so the chaos is very difficult to handle so this is called three body problem why three body well you have one body here two body and three body so three body problem so single gravity already allow the satellite motion be to be very complicated like uh, elliptical orbit and a spiral kind of things now three bodies three body is going to make whole system chaos it's very difficult to predict what's happened and think about our planet uh, earth has a sun but actually if you look at the another planet like a mars or very heavy jupiter there are a lot of influence from other that influence is small and that's why the sun seems to be stable but actually this is the uh, chaos system and it's going around the sun maybe one billion years it may suddenly start changing the course and that's what they said is one butterfly flap cause a wind that wind is amplified into very large typhoon and that's possible in the chaos system okay so nothing in the space is stable forever the if you ignore all the the minor effect to be zero and simplify the model to newton only well then hundred billion years forever uh, earth is going around the sun but sun is also changing so there's nothing stable everything is changing and sometimes this change may come suddenly like suddenly typhoon is generated who generated one butterfly and this kind of things may happen suddenly is the sun start deviating from the orbit 
and start flying away. That's possible. Because uh, uh, when condition meet, certain condition meet, the anything can happen because this whole solar system is a chaos system. So the we want to believe to be the stable system using Newtons, but actually if you solve the mathematics, computer simulation, it can be uh, we may discover some hidden uh, the orbit motions there. So, okay, so that's a three body problem. Once you have a two, um, gravity here acting on it, then the motion of this satellite can be very complex and just different initial condition give you the totally different motion initial condition and and slight mo uh, disturbance is going to change whole motion entirely okay so that's uh, that's known as a chaos system and it's three body problem is a chaos problem it's very difficult to analyze because we cannot solve the equation. Why we cannot solve the equation? Because equation, when you solve, means you you can express the solution by known function like a sine, cosine, exponent, log, whatever known function. And these known known function are not good enough to describe this the uh, function of the solution. You need a lot of more complicated function defined in order to describe the solution and we don't have that function and that's why it cannot be solved right just like a quadrat quadratic equation if you know only real number some of the equation cannot be solved because some of them become imaginary number so if you introduce imaginary number you can finally solve it. The same thing happened here. The all the known function we have using those function, we cannot describe the solution, and that's why differential equation cannot be solved. Differential equation probably demand a lot of new function to use to describe the, the solution, which is a big math problem. Okay, so that's for that's all for today. If you think this is interesting, please subscribe and wait for the next video.